All right, welcome everybody. Thanks for coming out. Uh, we were the Relico team for the B Impact Clinic. Um, looking at our team, we had the pleasure of working with uh, Blendy, sorry, Wendy Blackwell Moore as our business advisor, and our two points of contact for Relico were Amber Trudell, who was the director of supply chain and operations for our company, and Bruce Steinberg, who was our CEO. I'm, Samu I'm Samuel Gobiel. I was the peer mentor for this group. This is my second semester in the clinic, and I'm majoring in analytical economics and sustainability. My name is Kira Nolan. I'm a first time student consultant. I'm a senior marketing major, and this was my first time in the clinic. And I'm Caitlin Griffin. This is also my first time as a student consultant. I'm a senior majoring in information systems and business analytics with a dual major in sustainability. I'm Sydney Wisensee. This is my first time in the clinic as a student consultant. I'm a junior majoring in marketing and business analytics. So a little bit about Relyco. Um, their slogan is the company that you can rely on. Their purpose is they're a supplier of innovative paper products to a wide variety of businesses. And some of their products include synthetic paper, labels, metallic paper, pressure seal forms, business forms, and carbonless paper. So some of the physical deliverables that we created for our client this semester uh, were starting with an employee engagement survey. And this is targeting uh, questions in their workers and governance sections of the BIA. And then we also worked on gathering questions um, from the environmental section that related to their suppliers and their supply chain so that they can refer to those questions as they begin to collect data and then later refer to those questions so that they can continue to work on improve um, on areas of the environmental section. And then finally, we're in the process of creating a roadmap, um, which similar to other teams is, you know, an outlook for the future uh, that details how they can continue to increase their scores. So going into a little bit of why the B Impact is, clinic is important for Relico, um, they have the opportunity to improve their overall company culture through the BIA, providing more opportunities with inclusivity, satisfaction, and worker benefit metrics. Um, along with this, they can gain a better understanding of current and future suppliers through um, benchmarking supply chain data, again, through the BIA. They can improve their overall commitment to sustainability with small business practices every day, as well as larger vision and mission updates um, going forward. And lastly, they can identify some pain points within their company, as well as some success areas that they um, have going forward. So why is the work Relico has done with the B Impact important for their industry? Well, first, it would help make them a leader within the paper industry. Not many other paper companies are B Corp certified. Uh, second of all, it would help improve their own business. Um, they've uh, you know, really focused on certain areas like workers and governance, but those small areas make a big difference. And then finally, it has you know, snowballing um, positive effects uh, towards their environmental sections and hopefully can influence other companies to make um, uh, positive changes in accordance with B Corp. All right, looking at the future steps, um, one of the big things that they highlighted going in was their supply chain. They had a lot of issues with the information that they were given and all the sustainable impacts that those suppliers had. So um, we wanted to make sure to help them out and come up with some sort of way that they could gather that information. So one of their future steps is to learn more about that and for future suppliers that may come and they want to start screening them. Um, another step that we were looking forward to was the employee engagement. As we mentioned earlier, we had the employee engagement survey and they want to learn a lot more about their employees and how they can like attest and attribute to that understanding. Next is mission. As people stated earlier, um, they didn't have a mission lock coming in, so um, they really need to continue solidifying that with legal statements and commitments. And finally, working with the recommendations that we give them through our um, roadmap that we end up delivering them. And that's it for our presentation. I appreciate all you guys coming in and listening. Thank you.